Hi, it's Faces Tech. Lately I've been um, going back over some of my old projects, uh, looking to make them better, improve them on them if I can, and I uh, turned my attention to my uh, Pocket Pie. Uh, weirdly enough, the Pocket Pie was a project that I made that spawned another project, um, and then that project I made smaller, which spawned this uh, revision of the project, uh, so it all become full cycle. I'll put a link in the description for the walkthrough of my Pocket Pie if you want to have a look at that, but we'll... Uh, that to one side for a minute and turn our attention to uh, Pocket Pie Mark II. Um, this is similar to the one, it's got a three, uh, three and a half inch screen, um, 480 by 320. It's got the full breakout uh, of headers here. Um, the few improvements that I've made is that with the old one, I was using pogo pins. Why is that a bit of wire? I was using pogo pins to do the breakout for the um, hub at the bottom there, as you can see, but on this one, I've reluctantly soldered it straight onto the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. This uh, makes it so much more thinner because there's the uh, chunk of the uh, of the uh, old one. Um, similar and also uh, in the old one I had a power bank with a uh, battery here under the keyboard but for this one I've um, added the uh, power bank onto the uh, board screen because I had a, a board that connected to the GPOs that broke out the screen. So on that board, I've also added the power bank board, which um, I found a new way of doing that. I'm gonna put the uh, battery out of this one, the bigger battery out of this one, into this one when it's finished. When I've done shot this video, I'm gonna basically destroy this one and make it uh, into this one. Um, but yeah, uh, also I went with a different keyboard because with the old keyboard, this one, I used Bluetooth 2.0 and that it couldn't use the onboard uh, Bluetooth because well, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi at the same time with the 2.0, it just would disconnect all the time and then take ages. So this one uses Bluetooth 3.0, which means that I don't have to have a dongle like I did on this one. That's the reason I had, I kind of made this dock in the first place, which was a dual uh, USB dock. Instead yeah, so of just basically with this one, I just broke out the uh, the uh, headers underneath to that. Um, and uh, it's chargeable uh, on its own. Um, so you charge it and you can also connect up the power if you want to run on like a really long session and I've chopped down a uh, HDMI adapter for mini to full size that I'll be able to fit in there. I'm going to probably make a like a get a cable uh, like one of these and probably um, have it so it's sticking out the side here so you can just hook it up. Uh, also this bit there with the two builds I use this one I use the um, magnetic phone adapter but instead of using just one on this one, I decided to go with the two. So there's no other anything else. Basically, I just stuck these down. I had a bit of a mess with these because the the they were cheap ones and the the stickiness wasn't too sticky. So if they come off, I had to glue it. I got a bit of a mess on the back, but it's on the back, so you won't really see it. But um, yeah, with with it just having two, it's hard, strong enough that you basically um, don't need anything else. So all there is connecting to this back plane is four screws. Uh, and that's it really, it's really, really basic build compared to this other, compared to my other one which had um, different platforms and bits and bobs to keep it, you know, keep the keyboard from, um, you know, but obviously it's an improvement I've learned from, I've learned from the past and it is so much more thinner if you look at it compared to this. Oops, so you can see the thinness there. It's kind of nice as well, the um, keyboard's got a uh, backlit keyboard different colours and it's got a mouse as well this is what I wanted because when I hooked this one up um, to the tally if I wanted to hook it up uh, to do a bit of coding or whatever I didn't have a mouse because it had a keyboard but this one obviously has got a built-in mouse so uh, that's cool when you can sit back on the couch and uh, use your mouse it works really well uh, as usual uh, be blog post in the description uh, or the links and various other bits and bobs so uh, yeah thanks for watching bye